arrested. We have team coverage of the shooting. Want to go to Madison Keevy, who is downtown, with the latest there. Madison. Right. This is the news that arrest that a couple of families of victims in this mass shooting told me that they were hoping for. They're already asking for justice and they have it. In the meantime, memorials have grown. I'm on the corner here of 10th and L. You see this one on the ground behind me for one of those victims whose family we introduced you to during our coverage yesterday. Sergio Harris on the other side of the street. More candles and flowers in their honor. But of course, it's not just a number. All six of these victims have names. Today, we've learned the four others. So yesterday, we learned of Sergio Harris and Devazier Turner. Their families opted to share with us as they waited for news about their sons. And now today, we know the names of the four others. Joshua Hoy Lucchese, John Taya Alexander, Melinda Davis, and Yamil Martinez Andrade are the other four victims killed in this mass shooting. And that chaos that broke out on 10th and K around 2 a.m. Sunday morning was caught on video. I've been told by two families that they learned their loved one was killed because they actually saw them in a video like this not moving on the street. Police and elected officials have called on the public if you have videos like that or photos to share them as part of this investigation that we know spanned eight blocks yesterday and closed the majority of 10th Street and the surrounding areas for hours in the majority of Sunday. Investigators are combing through hundreds of pieces of evidence and some of the victims' families told us that they waited at the scene until they knew. Sergio's father shared with us last night. Yeah, you're going to shock. But other than that, just going through the motions, dude, you got a lot of people got shot. And uh, you can't just go around shooting people and think it's okay. I mean, uh, I ain't never seen it happen. Now you see the candles spell out Sergio's name written on the ground here. We love you forever, not forgotten. These types of phrases are also what we're hearing from friends and family of these six victims, especially on social media. And, you know, this is something that we're going to be following yesterday you know a couple families opted to share with us and others are sharing their memories of course because in these six victims not just numbers but names and people too by the way some of those that were injured there were 12 people injured have been released from the hospital today so again all just part of the process moving forward yeah some people being released is is a bit of bright news in all of this madison thank you very much